You sure this is not meat? Whoa. Are these vegan? This is actually a marinara plant-based meatball sub. Plant-based pepperoni, completely dairy-free. So whenever I go to fast food places, I've been noticing that there's a lot of vegan options lately. And that's a good thing because a lot of people don't eat meat. They, they have a limited amount of varieties they can eat from. And if they would go out, they would have to go to a restaurant, which is a little bit expensive. Fast food places are a lot more cheaper. It's a good thing they have vegan options. So right now I'm curious to see how it tastes like. So we're gonna go and try out a few options. So first we're gonna go be going to Harvey's. Let's see, where's the mic? Uh, you guys have the veggie burger? Can may I have that please? Thank you. Can't wait to try this. Where the hell did he come from? Is this gonna take any longer? I declined. Thank you. It was only like five bucks. We ooh. So I did say no mayo. So this is how the burger looks like. This is the patty. Damn. That kind of looks real, not gonna lie. So ketchup, mustard, pickles, lettuce. Okay, here's the first bite. I've never had this before in my life. Mmm! Wow, that's pretty good. It definitely doesn't taste like meat, but the taste is really good. Like, you wanna keep eating it. I have no idea what, what the veggie is made out of. Looks like it's burnt, but it's honestly not burnt at all. It's really soft. The first spot is definitely really good. I can't wait to see what the other places taste like. The rating for this burger would probably be like uh, out of 10, seven at least. Definitely recommend you guys try this out too. Hi, welcome to Burger King. Hi, may I please get the veggie burger? You want a veggie burger? Yeah, can I have a no mayo please? Why is it so cheap? Debit? Thank you. Ooh, this might be even better than the other one because it smells a lot better. Just picked up the veggie burger from Burger King. We don't have the Impossible Whopper yet as they do in the States. I'm pretty sure they have it everywhere except Canada because we are in Toronto right now. So this is the veggie burger. Are these vegan? Ooh, that's hot. So this is how it looks like. Dude, the patty, the patty looks exactly the same like the other one. Oh no, never mind. Wait, this side does though. This is Burger King. This is the veggie one. Whoa, this is small. Look at that. I think this is a lot better than the Harvey's one. Flavors I'm getting from this, <laughs> I don't know. Tastes good. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't taste exactly like meat, but it tastes really good. The rating for this, I would probably rate it around a good nine out of 10. Right now we're gonna take it inside. Let's go to the next one. Back. So this is called A&W. I've seen this in the commercial like a million times and I've never ever had it yet. So I'm gonna see if the hype is real. Apparently this is the best meat because this one is a Beyond Meat burger. Patty, this is a big ass. That's how the inside looks like. The meat is completely different than the last two places. It looks pretty good. No mayo, no cheese. There's still mustard and ketchup, first bite. I'm just kidding. Wow. Mm. Got a few more bites. Are you sure this is not meat? This literally tastes like, like a beef patty. This is really good. You can actually buy these patties frozen. There's like four of them at Walmart, $16 or something like that. But it's worth it if you wanna eat meat without eating meat. I think this is the closest flavor so far. This for sure beats Harvey's and Burger King for sure. The guy on the TV commercial that advertises his burger, literally Every day, like five times, was completely right. This this is a really good burger. Just came here to Starbucks. There's no drive-through, so I have to go inside. Looks good. Just picked up two drinks from Starbucks. These don't have any milk, anything. Just left Starbucks because there's no drive-through, and the inside place was a little bit too too packed, so there was no way for us to sit down. So right here I have the uh, matcha tea lemonade, and this one is the violet drink, and it's hibiscus tea with coconut milk. Let's try this one first. 
Ooh, that's good. It's a little bit strong though. If you like lemons or anything like that, you're gonna probably like this one. Let's try the violet drink. I don't like this one at all. Probably a five out of 10. I wouldn't order it again, but it is pretty good. Maybe if it's summer and it's really hot outside, it would probably be good. This one, I'm not sure, but for me, this is a no-go. If there's any other vegan options at Starbucks, let me know so I can try them all. Okay, so I just got home. The time is now 9.19. On the way home, I picked up some Subway. Fun fact, the world's largest fast food restaurant chain is Subway. I know you guys thought it was McDonald's. That's the same thing I thought also. But Subway actually has the most franchises in the world, so it makes it the most and biggest fast food restaurant in the world with 42,998 locations. So this is actually a marinara plant-based meatball sub. There was two options. One was uh, no sauce on it, which I think is kind of boring. So I went with the one with the sauce because obviously there's not gonna be any cheese on it. These are the meatballs. I've been wanting to try this since I seen it in the commercial. Here, let's go. I don't like it. So the meatball kind of tastes mushy. Literally, you barely, you don't even have to bite it and it just falls apart. I just don't like the texture. And the taste isn't really good. Anything else at Subway I've ever ate was always good, but this I don't really like at all. Whatever your favorite thing is at Subway, it's better you stick to that. Don't try this one. Last but not least, we got pizza. This is the only pizza place in the area that I found that does everything literally vegan. This is the first time I'm gonna actually see it in person. Wow. Plant-based pepperoni. We have plant-based chorizo, which is sausages. And even the cheese is completely dairy-free. Here we go. I think it's too much spices altogether. Honestly, I don't think I would order this again. And I don't think I can even finish one slice. Based on my own opinion and taste, I would rate this a zero. Honestly, I don't really like it at all. I don't think it's good. You can't really eat it separately or by pieces. Even if you eat, try to eat it all together at once, it still has like an aftertaste. And honestly, I don't know what these things are. These look like toothpick pieces. I don't know. It's just not good. This pizza honestly doesn't even taste like meat. Anything even similar to it. Honestly, the cheese tastes like plastic like if you would eat plastic this is how plastic would taste like it's like melted plastic i'm sorry guys but this is a no no for me now i'm gonna share my overall rating so my top favorite one out of everything no wait let's do this first so the worst food that i've tasted today would probably be the pizza the pizza was really really bad i don't recommend it at all and my favorite thing was the beyond the meat burger from a and w you can actually purchase these in walmart you can actually even buy it on Amazon. You can also purchase it at Whole Foods. If any of you guys have tasted the Beyond the Meat Burger, let me know if you guys actually like it. If you guys have tasted any of these vegan options, comment below if you liked it or not. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And see you next time.